This bike right here might just be one of the best XC race bikes out on the market. As you guys might remember, last year I started looking for my dream XC race bike. And I started out with the Polygon Syncline C3 and did a ton of upgrades on that bike. And let me tell you, that bike did not disappoint. It's a pure rocket ship. But I've had my eye on this bike for quite a while. This is the brand new 2024 Team Marin 2. Now you might ask yourself, what makes a good XC bike? And well, it's things like a shorter reach, a shorter stack height, a shorter wheelbase, and shorter chain stays. But all of these things combined together can really make a challenge for manufacturers because you don't want that bike to be too twitchy and not responsive enough. And it's quite possible that Marin nailed it with the brand new Team Marin series that they put out this year. Let's go ahead and let's check out all of the details on this awesome looking bike. Now, like I said, there are a lot of measurements that have to fall perfectly in line to make a quality XC bike. And the Marin comes in with a stack height of 623.05 millimeters with a reach of 450 millimeters and a head tube angle that's not too steep and not too slack that comes in at 67 degrees. And you're gonna get a chainstay length of only 425 millimeters. This bike is gonna be super snappy off the line. Now we can't forget about the wheelbase because that's super important when it comes to the snappiness or the lack of sluggishness on a bike. The Marin Team Series comes in at 1,166 millimeters. Now Marin, I think, nailed it on the suspension because you need a specific length suspension to be a really good XC bike. The 120 millimeter length, I think, is the Goldilocks zone when it comes to XC racing travel. Now I think Marin did an awesome job by going with an aluminum build on this bike. It keeps the bike affordable, but yet super light. The Series 4 aluminum that they use on this is a 6061 material, and it's really strong, but yet also has that little bit of forgiveness on those rough trails. So far with the geometry and the material that they chose to use, it looks like this bike is really promising. But we need to take a look at the components before we can make a final decision and then get out and ride. So first up, let's dive into the drivetrain and see what it's all about. Now to start off the drivetrain, we do have a 12-speed SLX shifter up front. And then to tie into that front shifter, we have a Dior XT rear derailleur. And then that's going to link up to a Sunrace 11 to 52 tooth cassette. Looking at the crank set, you're going to get an FSA grid 32 tooth crank set that's going to have external bearings that's going to be all set on a boost spacing design. Now every bike needs a good set of wheels and this is going to have a set of Marin branded wheels with Marin branded hubs. And these are going to be wrapped with Maxxis Recon Race 29 by 2.35 inches wide. Now, whenever you get to some of those rough sections and you want to drop that seat, this has a Transax 150 millimeter dropper post that's hooked up to a Speed Concept Marin saddle. Then looking up at the cockpit here, you are going to get some awesome Marin branded lock-on grips. These are going to be linked into a 780 millimeter wide bar along with a 35 millimeter long stem. Now to stop this beast, you are going to get some TRP G-Spec brakes. It's gonna be 180 millimeters up front and 160 millimeters in the back. And the back is gonna have a very unique design with a flat mount caliper. Now for one of the biggest features on this bike, the Fox 34 Stepcast Performance Fork. This fork is specifically designed for XC riding. Now I was able to get out on my local trail Fellows Lake here in Springfield, Missouri, which I call the premier XC style riding trail in my area. And this thing did not disappoint. It was a lightning bolt right out of the box stock from the factory. So fast, in fact, a trail system that I have been riding all summer on my Polygon Sync line, I snagged up a personal record right out of the gate. This thing isn't messing around, it's designed for speed. Now this bike might be nearly perfect, but that doesn't mean I don't want to do some upgrades or improvements to this bike. 
I've got some tire inserts made by Vittoria that I wanna install on this to help not only protect the rims, but also give me some super good lateral support when I'm hitting those berms. If you guys have been watching this channel long enough, you'll know that the Transax dropper posts that come on the majority of bikes these days has a terrible dropper lever. It's not super smooth, and sometimes you have to push it all the way in to get your dropper post to respond. So I'm gonna be changing out this Transax dropper post lever for a wolf tooth lever because those have sealed bearings on the inside, making the operation of using your dropper post super smooth. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the garage and get these updates done so we can get out on the trail. But you guys are gonna wanna stick around till the end of the video because I have a major upgrade that I'm gonna be doing to this in the near future. And I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what that is closer to the end. Let's go. So these are the Vittoria tire inserts and they run about $60 each. And of course you'll need two, but they claim that these only weigh about 50 grams and they also include some tubeless valves. These things should help with all kinds of different things. They're claiming that you can run lower tire pressure, you can run flat if you absolutely have to, and they're gonna give you that lateral support along with some additional rim protection. Let's go ahead and let's get these installed. And so this is what these things look like. They're super lightweight. There's practically nothing to them. Feels kind of like a pool noodle. All right, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is get our valve and remove it. And then inserting the valve is the exact same process as a normal valve. And so it's pretty obvious there's only one way to install this. So let's just go ahead and try to fit this into the tire. Now I've got sealant in there. I'm gonna to try to do this without removing the sealant. They claim that this is one of the easiest tire inserts to actually install. We're gonna find out into the rim and then we'll work our tire on. So far, it's super easy. There we go. That looks like that's on. That was really pretty easy to put on there. It's gonna go around the outside and make sure that that's kind of seated center in the rim. Let's uh, see if we can get this thing aired up. Woo, man, that always scares me. Looks like the bead is set over here. So those tire inserts were surprisingly easy to install and I can't wait to get out and actually try them. But first I wanna install this wolf tooth dropper post lever. This is similar to the one that I installed on the Polygon sink line and I absolutely love the feel for it. For a long time, I kind of put off buying wolf tooth and only went with PNW. But honestly, this short throw lever that wolf tooth makes is really, really nice. And I love the looks of it. So I picked one up for my Team Marin 2, and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that Transex dropper post lever that I absolutely can't stand. All right, so now that I've got the Vittoria tire inserts put in and I've got the Wolf Tooth lever put on, let's go ahead and hit up my local trails and see if these upgrades really made that big of a difference. So out here at Fellows Lake, this is the ultimate testing ground for an XC bike in my area. And the Marin definitely excelled out here, so much so that a route that I have designated as my XC testing ground, I actually set two PRs on the exact same ride on the same loop. First coming in at seven minutes and 13 seconds, and then seven minutes and eight seconds. This bike is so fast, it's unreal. But I have plans to make this bike even faster. That's right, earlier in the video, I told you guys that I have a surprise for you and I have made the biggest purchase that I have ever made when doing an upgrade to a bike. This upgrade may be a little ridiculous for this price point of a bike, but I wanted to try these so bad for so long and I got a killer deal. Some proven carbon wheels by Hunt. 